Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another Fire Emblem Heroes summoning session. Today we are here with the newest mythic hero, Medius, uh, the Earth Dragon, and the big boss of the original Fire Emblem, long overdue. Like literally, uh, when mythic heroes were announced, I thought he was like for sure going to show up way earlier, uh, and even though I'm not a huge fan of Fire Emblem 1 specifically, uh, I've been waiting on him for around a year, uh, mostly just because I've actually had the music that I wanted to use for his Mythic Hero battle picked out that long. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited to see him finally make his debut, and he's also a very solid looking unit. Uh, First off, right off the bat, he has the new skill Kanto Control 3, uh, which uh, helps stop Kanto to an extent. It helps deal with that. Uh, it technically did exist already as uh, Mikoto's Refine, but that was kind of limited. But now we have it on a skill that's actually inheritable to uh, any infantry unit, which is pretty cool. But I'd much rather just keep him because uh, this is the big boy, the big bad. Uh, it'd be cool to have him, you know, just for the uh, just just for the sake of having the original villain of Fire Emblem, you know. Um, and he has some nasty-looking defensive effects, like this on guard effect, um, which makes him and surrounding allies immune to out of combat damage from things like bolt towers, pain plus, poison strike, savage blow. Um, and I think even, uh, Fury and Push skills, uh, so you can run those on your units and not take recoil, uh, which is interesting. I wonder if that would also affect, uh, re recoil from things like, uh, Duo Lift. I would imagine so. Uh, I can't confirm that, but that's actually something interesting that I hadn't really thought of until just now. Um, and then he also has this Assured Rebirth skill. Uh, which reduces damage from attacks and AoE specials, uh, which are like the one out of combat damage that uh, Unguard doesn't affect. Uh, this reduces the AoE damage, so you still can't uh, cheese them with like AoE, Life and Death, Yuri, uh, or Ophelia. And it reduces that by the number of Staff and Dragon allies, so it might hamper his team compositions a little. Um, but I'm sure there could be some nasty things. I could definitely see him being a good partner with, like, Ascendant Aiden, uh, or someone like that, uh, and maybe get, like, an odd recovery healer, uh, to help out, too. Uh, could definitely see some nasty shenanigans with him. Uh, very strong defensive hero. And he is sharing with Saint Ermine, uh, my favorite little stoat lady, <laughs> Uh, who I really wanted uh, last time she was around, but I decided to pass on. Uh, she's back, and I'd love to get a copy of her. Uh, and also, Makaya. Uh, not the ideal last pick for me, but two out of three isn't bad, and I don't have Makaya, so it still wouldn't be terrible. And actually, with Fury 4, she could probably combo well with Medius uh, just off of her base kit. The other colors aren't the most exciting. Uh, Altena, eh, pretty old and I'd much rather use her winter version, though maybe uh, once she gets a remix that'll improve. Uh, Mirror Bliss, I actually do want. I keep voting for her on every one of those Twitter rerun polls and she never, she never wins, but she also hasn't gotten knocked out yet, which is really impressive uh, because she's been around pretty much this entire time. Uh, I don't know how much longer that streak will last, but it's very funny at the very least. So I wouldn't mind getting Mirabliss just because I keep voting for her so that I can get the chance to spark her. But alas, people don't want Brandon to be happy. <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't mind getting Mirabliss. Uh, Flavia, uh, not super exciting. Uh, probably just keep her. Attack Speed Push, I've got some copies of. Red Feud is kind of niche. So probably keep her. Not terrible, but not the greatest uh, pickup. Uh, on blue, we have Dimitri, who I wouldn't mind just because I like Dimitri. 
Uh, Julia, still pretty solid. Uh, I see her fairly often in Arena. Uh, and then speaking of, here's Ascendant Aiden, uh, who I think would be a very strong pick to partner with Medius. Uh, very solid. I, I've been using mine on offense for Aether Raids, and she's actually really helpful. And then finally on green we have Thor, the one green unit that dodged me during a Hero Rises, uh, sadly. So wouldn't mind getting her, but she's with Otor, who I also like, uh, though I might just give Flow Refresh to like Sedith, honestly. Uh, and Hel, uh, a little less exciting, she's kind of old at this point. Uh, she's also old, literally. Uh, but uh, overall, fairly solid lineup. I'd say red is the weakest color. Um, but all of the all of the colors have at least one unit that I wouldn't mind grabbing, so pretty cool. Um, but we are definitely going to focus colorless. And I don't know how many orbs I want to throw at this. Uh, I'm still not in what I would consider to be a great orb position, but I've got enough that I can justify spending some on this, and we'll be getting a top up at the start of the next month. So uh, can definitely afford to spend some orbs, try and bring home the big bad, and maybe St. Elamine as well. Uh, I would love to get both of them, honestly, but that might be a little too expensive. Uh, but even getting just one of them would be great. So, I'm thinking... Colorless blue, green, red. Uh, I do want Mirabliss, but she'll probably end up uh, getting dumped into the remix pool eventually. So it might be best to just wait for her to show up there. Uh... Blue, I can use pretty much all the units. Uh, green also has pretty solid units across the board, but colorless is definitely our go-to. So let's go and try and get uh, the, well, let's try and pull uh, Julia, I guess, because I don't have her. <laughs> uh, but I really wanted, I wanted a free pull of Medius and be super excited, and so we got Muriel. Not terrible, but, you know, it's, it's, she, she's no big, bad Earth Dragon. Um, yeah, I've been so excited. Uh, I don't know the order uh, that I'm going to release the Abyssal Clear uh, for the and this video yet, but uh, I have already picked out the Abyssal music. Uh, heck, I, I probably spoiled it with this video. Uh... So I'll just go ahead and say uh, I see a lot of parallels with Medius and Ejdaha from Genshin, uh, which is really interesting. And so I've been saving Ejdaha's music, which is some of my favorite music in the game, uh, specifically for when Medius actually released, <laughs> uh, just because I wanted to use it for his videos uh, because of those parallels. Uh, to start, they're both Earth Dragons. They're both either at risk or have succumbed to madness or erosion, which is kind of Genshin's kind of uh, version of that where you you stick around so long that your mind starts to degrade and you lose control, uh, which is what the Earth Dragons uh, succumbed to in uh, FE1. Uh, so that's another interesting uh, parallel there. And uh, they were both once entrusted with a task by a god of sorts. Uh, for their respective universes. Uh, Naga for Medius, who was tasked with guarding the seal on the Earth Dragons, and Zhongli uh, had worked alongside Ejdaha to protect Liyue. Uh Let's grab our next one. Uh, they both have the ability to mind control and manipulate people. Uh, Medius uh, controlled the four maidens and Ejdaha manipulated and brainwashed miners into trying to unseal him from his prison. Uh, okay, nothing good here. I'm just kind of talking about completely unrelated stuff to my pulse. Uh, but both were also harmed by humans. Uh, Ejdaha was m harmed by the mining uh, of humans affecting the ley lines uh, and causing him damage. And Medius uh, was hurt by humans persecuting dragonkind. And finally, uh, kind of more of a jokey one. Both are weak to shield characters. Uh, Marth had the binding shield to fight uh, Medius. 
and uh, that's another Brady. Wow. And uh, Asia Daha, in terms of game mechanics, is uh, actually the uh, main way to deal with his main his uh, mechanic of dealing uh, damage over time to your units is by using a shield. Uh, and specifically, uh, Zhong Li, uh, who is famous for having super strong shields, is a great counter for Ajdaha's uh, damage over time mechanic. So that's kind of more of a jokey parallel, but that's very funny that they're both also just kind of walled by characters who use shields. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so yeah, a lot of random parallels that I noticed between these two characters that just really made me associate them and made me very excited for Medius's eventual release. Uh, we got, we got a big bald old man, but not the right one. Riss, not helpful, man. But yeah, so <laughs> enough rambling about that, but, uh, I really do love Ajdaha, and so I've been excited. What the heck? Double wrist. That's not what I wanted. I wanted like double. I wanted double mythics here. I wanted two two mythics back to back. That's what I wanted. Uh, at least we're getting colorless. Um, if I were going for mirror bliss, I'd be very sad at that wheel. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, not a mythic, but uh, we got uh, Makoto. Who, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> Just lost her uh, one main niche with uh, Medius's release. Uh, she she was the sole unit with Kanto control, and uh, now here he is. But we got a plus HP Makoto, which I actually did want uh, because I wanted the option to run uh, infantry pulse on her. So that's a cool merge. I guess I could save her to fodder her staff, but I'm just I'm gonna merge her. I'm gonna merge her. Uh, I I like Makoto. She's she's a good mom, and uh, we like her. Come on, Medius. I I kept thinking it was pronounced Medeus, uh, but it's Medius apparently according to his voice lines, and so I have to I have to bear that in mind that it's he's pronounced Medius. Ah, no no colorless, uh, and we've gotten we've got nine pity. Ugh. All right, come on, blue. Don't give us anything now. I, I want to save this pity for the unit we actually want. Okay, May May is fine. But yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for Medius, but I'm also dreading him because he's going to be toxic on Aether Raid's defense. Like, just, just looking at his kid, he's going to be gross. He's going to be so gross. I don't know how I'm going to deal with him. <laughs> uh, you guys excited for him or are you dreading him? Uh, curious. Um, uh, and he he also seems like he's gonna be staple for summoner duels too, just because of how rampant Kanto is there. Uh, and I I've already seen a lot of people say they're gonna put Kanto on gate or uh, Kanto control on Gatekeeper to block warping shenanigans and Kanto, uh, because that is kind of a thing that beats Gatekeeper is he can wall off warping shenanigans like from Ash or Wings of Mercy. But if the enemy just rushes in and Kanto's away, then they can still kind of hit and run you. Uh, I'd need uh, more than one copy for of him for that, though, uh, to even think about that. Because I really want to keep one copy. I want I want a copy. I want to keep it. Man, I wish I I wish I could just guarantee him with the spark, but don't have Fey Pass. Maybe I should get it just to guarantee him. Or get him and then guarantee Elamine if we're lucky or something. Klein, ugh. Love you, Klein, but you're not helping. Uh, more colorless, please. Give more colorless, please. Man, I keep saving and then things keep coming and draining my orbs. I, I feel bad. I keep trying to save again and... I just can't save. I can't save. Uh, too much good stuff lately. A lot of really good banners and stuff. A lot of good fodder. Oh, we got St. Elmine. Nice. I really wanted her. Uh, I, I was hoping that she would rank high in A Hero Rises. 
uh, because if Byleth lost, then she was going to be my backup character. <laughs> but she get, she ended up uh, losing or uh, dropping out of the top eight before uh, the actual uh, voting gauntlet, which was unfortunate. But we got her anyways now um, with absolutely, I think, the worst stats that she could have. I think uh, she has low speed and high res and she wants high res. Maybe she had high speed. I don't remember, actually. Um, but regardless, that minus res is definitely not great. But uh, still happy. I might even just throw some trait fruit at her. I've got some extra saved up now. So uh, might do that because uh, getting that res check is pretty important. But uh, fantastic to have her. Very excited about that. I really did want her. All right. Going to throw a some more orbs at this. I don't know how many I want to spend still, but I'm, I'm willing to throw some more. Uh, no, yep, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Again, uh, no, no, no colorless. Um, but the other day I made some, I tried to make in a new recipe. I made some corn chowder with corn boy and that was fun. Uh, and then my friend said that it was male wife activity and that I am a male wife, but I don't, I don't think I, I can really take that title. I'm not, you know, Toma, Toma's the ultimate male wife. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a, a lowly, a lowly Brandon boy making some cooking and doing laundry and cleaning and stuff. I, I, I don't think I can take the title of male wife, honestly. <laughs> Uh, uh, two wheels in a row with no colorless. That's unfortunate. There we go. Two colorless. Give us Medius. And, uh... Mm, Kaze. Love you, Kaze. Uh, I, I actually really do like using him, but... Uh, D uh, not who I want to see right now. I was going to say not helpful, but actually Kaze is helpful because he's got a tax smoke, which I don't mind having extra copies of. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, got him. I can't believe we got both of the, the characters I actually wanted the most on this. Uh, this, this, <laughs> this, you know, it wasn't perfect, but this mythic and, and only 20 pulls too. Wow. Uh, this mythic banner treated me better than most banners, honestly. Uh, Minus attack is unfortunate, but he is plus defense. Um, I don't remember which exactly were his flaws, but uh, this man has a lot of flaws, uh, both uh, figuratively and uh, literally, because uh, he has like three super flaws. <laughs> uh, that's sad, but uh, I am happy to have this. He has high res, so uh, getting that defense boon uh, will help average out his defenses, which you guys know I'm a sucker for some even defenses. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm happy. I got him. I've got to sit down and actually train my units. <laughs> I, keep, I keep putting it off. I've been grinding hero merit with uh, Marita uh, so that I can fodder her and I've just not gotten around to uh, leveling up all these units I keep getting. <laughs> <laughs> Need to sit down and just maybe burn some stamina potions. I've got more than enough. I've got over 1,500 of those that I never use. So, um, But yeah, I got him. I'm so excited. I, I can't believe I got both the, the characters I wanted. Uh, that wasn't too bad. We got to save some uh, orbs. Um, but I, I wasn't actually done talking. <laughs> so I'm going to keep you guys here for a little bit more. Uh, I just wanted to, to give a, a shout out. Again, because I, I really appreciate every time it happens. So my friend Tane uh, drew some lovely, adorable art of me. And it's so cute and I, I love it. And he watches a lot of these videos. So I wanted to take the time to actually give a shout out and thank him on a video. Uh, so thank you, Tane, for this lovely, adorable art. It's so cute. Uh, look at me. I'm doing the rally luck and it worked because we got, we got the luck and we got our, both the targets. Um, but I also wanted to, uh, mention that because, uh, Tane is hosting a Smash Bros tournament with random characters and I'm set to be taking part in that. 
So I wanted to take the time to mention that and uh, tell you guys about it. If you're watching this before it happens on May 1st, uh, it would mean a lot if you guys uh, went and checked it out on his uh, main channel uh, that he runs with his brother, uh, Tain and Blue, and uh, we'd love to see you drop by. So uh, that was so I, I actually did want to uh, mention that, and uh, we got the the hero, we got our characters before I could actually bring that up. So uh, I'm bringing it up now. So thank you again to Tain for the lovely art and for inviting me to take part and participate. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, so yes, <laughs> anyway, that aside, uh, again, very thrilled with our pulls here. Uh, got both of the units that we wanted in a relatively short amount of orbs. I think that was about 90 orbs. Uh, so not too bad uh, for two mythics that I can actually really use. Uh, I'd say that was probably worthwhile. Might also go buy the Soak This Orb Pack with some money that I had left over on my account uh, from buying those Resplendents to top myself up a little because uh, I'd like to feel a little more comfortable with my orb stash. But regardless, thank you as always so much for joining me on another rambly video. It means a lot that you guys come and uh, spend some time and watch me. Uh, really appreciate it. And... Uh, Best of luck to you guys uh, in your summons, whether they be on this banner or any of the other current or upcoming ones. And uh, until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon signing out.